Around 3.30 in the morning, um, we had a 27-year-old man uh, who had uh, come here on vacation and had decided that he wanted to drive and, and watch the sunrise. The area he was driving in is not, uh, there's no like, or the area then didn't have a road. It's just kind of dirt um, trails, wild land areas. And uh, so he'd gone off the road and he was using the Jeep to travel along there and apparently took a wrong turn and drove off the cliff. Just the way the car was set up, he fell into the water. And so it was floating approximately 100 um, meters off of the uh, coastline when our fire personnel arrived on scene. Essentially, he had some minor cuts and some hypothermia because it was a little cold at three in the morning when you're all wet. Otherwise, was coached back uh, onto the side of the cliff um, by our personnel until our rescue company could arrive. And then we um, set up some high angle um, rope systems uh, and hooked him up and were able to extract him up the cliff. You got to pay attention. That's all I'm going to say. It's it's not the freeway. There's no stoplights. It's a very, very, very rural area. Um, you know, he, he went down a dirt road with no signage at all. Um, so, you know, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I see it very often where people take the wrong turns. And unfortunately, a lot of the time it's tourists and, you know, I, I feel sympathy for them. They're trying, they're here trying to enjoy their, their, their vacation of a lifetime. And they end up in a predicament like that because of not being familiar with their surroundings. Um, I suggest to all people that come to visit, if it's, if it's not a paved road, don't go down it. 